When it comes to holiday crafting, my Scan and Cut can do so many things to make things quick and easy, customized and fun. Hey guys, May Flom here, and today I am going to show you how I quickly and beautifully make custom decor pillows. Good for any season, although of course I'm going to be going with holiday season and Christmas. So I'm actually, I've got an idea, and what we're going to do here is I'm thinking of just a regular circle. Now I'm going to need three circles to make this work and we're going to have to see if it even will work. So what I've got, I, I know I want three circles. So I just went ahead and I know I want one of them to be pretty big. I'm going to go with six and a half inches. Actually, I might just go with, I might even go all the way up to seven. Okay. We're going to go up to seven inches. And then these other two circles, these are right now 3.94. I'm gonna see how I like them here. Um, the other thing I'm gonna wanna do actually is bring them all the way up to the top and then go like so, so that I can really get everybody squared up. I, I, want, it, I want it as close to being even as I can. If I need to nudge things just slightly if I feel like things are just slightly too far one way or the other what I can do is go in here this button right here and I can select something and just nudge it over in a certain direction I'm just kind of trying to look here at and you know what I really can't look at the grid because if I look at the grid it's not um, the two little circles aren't lined up in the same they're, they're not hitting at the same point here but that's okay because I feel like that's gonna be perfect for what I am doing and let's see I will need to make sure that this fits if you couldn't tell what I am doing here is making a Mickey head now I am going to press this button right here and what that's gonna do is let me select everybody and the reason I want to do this is because I want to weld my pattern together there it is to make my Mickey head and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna say okay oh I love it I love it look at that three circles I've got a Mickey head but what I'm going to do now is to scan in my material and make sure that it fits so to scan my material I will just push this button right here and start and that is going to scan in my mat so that we can make sure that the material I am using is in fact big enough for my idea if it is not, I can just resize. And I have a feeling I'm gonna to need to resize a little bit, but we're gonna see. I love how quick this is. Uh-huh. As you can see here from my design, it's just a little bit too big. And it's gonna to be too big either way. So all I have to do, I already welded it, which means if I adjust the size, it's gonna adjust the size of the whole image. So I can just adjust the size down until I am feeling confident that it is in there and then what I can also do is go here and move and nudge it over a bit so that I'm close to the edges okay and once I am satisfied I'll be able to cut I am just first going to show you a piece of this material now this material is one of my favorites I just adore it it is red glitter and the shiny side here this is actually a, a sticky plastic coating the real material is here on the other side and it's iron-on so we're not even gonna have to sew this onto our pillow cover so that the pillowcase is going to not require any sewing at least for decoration so once I'm happy with this I'm just gonna say okay okay and I'm gonna make sure I have it set properly um, I've got a little older blade so I'm just gonna be right at about five and a half to six and say okay and cut. Now when I first pull this sheet out, it's not gonna look super impressive. Uh, in fact, the front side should look like nothing happened at all. But then as we pull it out, and you're gonna wanna work very gently, take your time on this, uh, the glitter material is a little bit delicate and what I mean by that is if you just if you give a yank right here where there's a point where it's a turn or a corner 
I don't want you to rip your material. Okay, you want to be a little bit gentle with that. Oh, there he is, our great big Mickey head. And you're not going to want to throw this away because this is, this is what I love here. Because it's already got the sticky adhesive backing, which is very sticky, by the way, we can leave this just as it is. And guess what? I can cut hearts, little tiny Mickey heads, whatever, flowers, whatever I want out of all of this. And you saw me how I scanned this in. So we can scan this in and cut little shapes and get the most out of this whole sheet. But for right now, we're going to move over to the ironing board and get this ironed on. Here we are at my ironing board and I'm just running an iron over my fabric for two reasons. This is already a pillowcase. Um, it's a 16 inch square pillow. So for two reasons. Number one, I want to make sure that there are no creases or wonky spots to be really technical here on my front of my pillowcase. Number two, I find that it works great if I already start with a hot surface. So once I already know, once I already have that all set, I'm going to put my Mickey and I'm going to not worry about perfect, but I am going to center that Mickey head. And then I have a piece of the same fabric. I'm just going to lay it over the top as a buffer and I'm just going to run the iron and I'm going to make sure I turn the steam off. We don't need the steam and I'm just going to iron this into place, just gently moving my iron around. Before I put this on the pillow, I let it cool down for a minute just so I can look and make sure and check all the edges that I did a really good job uh, getting everything sealed on there. And you know what? I already love it and it's ready to go on the pillowcase. 